Hi, good afternoon. I'm uh, Mr. Vasquez, and I'm the instructor here at Lobo High School CTE Construction. And today I'll be talking about the two hammers that we use, commonly used in construction class. So this is uh, our learning target. You're gonna be able to identify the parts of a hammer and demonstrate how to drive nails into lumber. And then you're gonna identify, students are gonna be able to identify using a handout of a hammer, and then they have the other side would be the, the nails. They are gonna get a handout from uh, Horshack. You got one? Very good, thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you for coming today. And um, so let's start. A lot, of, a lot of students come in and they want to drive in nails. They want to drive in nails and they want to use the big gun. This is a pneumatic nail gun. But before, before, before you can use the nail gun, you have to be faithful in the few things. And the few things. What does that mean? We're going to start small and then we're going to work our way up. All right? We're going to work our way up. So, here we go. First off, out of the two hammers, I'm going to talk about the 16 ounce cobalt claw hammer. If you notice this, this hammer, this hammer has the handle and the head, just like we have a head, and then it has the claw. Notice this claw is curved. It's curved. Pay attention because you're going to have a quiz on this on Wednesday. It's curved. Okay, we're looking at two hammers. The first one is a 16 ounce claw hammer. So on your hand now, you should all have that. It has a cheek, you know. It's like we have a cheek here. It's right here, okay. Then we have the ad's eye. It's right here, right here. Can everybody see it? Good job, okay. And then we have the face. It's right here. We have a face. Well, this face right here is the one that hits the nail, okay? And then we have the pole, which is around the face, around the face, and then we have the neck right here. Can you see that? Right on. Okay, very good. Then we have, uh, if you notice, this hammer right here, it's got a smooth face, okay? It's got a smooth face. So, what I, I like to do is to get a brick, these are brand new hammers, they haven't been used much, is to get a brick and rough it up a little bit. Okay? You're going to ask me why? Why? So that way, when you go ahead and use it, it has a little bit of a bite, a little bit of a bite to it, where you can get the nail. Notice the nail right here. Okay? We use a lot of nails in construction. This is really small. It's called a finishing nail. Look at the head of it. Pay attention to the head because the other nails I'm going to talk about have different heads. This one here has a, a small head. So, it looks like this. So, before we uh, start using stuff in class, we got to put our safety glasses and I like using gloves. Now we're in this COVID situation, so we're gonna use gloves. So anyway, we have two pieces of wood, okay? So I'm gonna put them together, and I'm gonna use the finishing nail. When I hold it, I hold it towards the top, okay? And then I, use, I get my hammer, and I give it a couple of taps. That's how you can get it started. And then I put my thumb on, on, the, on the handle here and I move it over here so I can get a good position of it. And I move my hand away from it because I already got it started. I don't want to leave it there, otherwise I'm going to hurt my thumb. So I come back over here, hold the wood, and I start hitting it. Notice how I hit it. Okay, so now the nail is in the wood. Did I do a good job? Thank you. OK, 
Okay, the other thing I want to talk about is called the nail set. The nail set sets the nail below the surface. It sets the nail below the surface. So, same thing, line it up. Give a couple of hits. The nail is below the surface. The reason we do this is because we are uh, going to put putty here and, and uh, fill the hole up and cover and sand it so you don't want to see the nail here. So if you notice that we did this here on this, on this birdhouse, notice the spacing, okay? We don't put a lot of nails. So let's just stood it in here, left it behind, and we need to fill these, these up and then we're going to paint it, okay? Question. Question. What is this called, Vinny? Very good. Nail set. Very good. You got it. You're learning. You're learning. Thank you for coming, Vinny. Okay. So, this is called the 16 ounce claw hammer. Can anybody identify all the parts of a hammer? Anybody? Use your hand up. How about you, boom boom? You got it? You got one, right? Okay. Here's your hand, here's your hammer. Show me the parts. Very good job. Very good job. You got them. You got all the parts. I like that. I like that. You're gonna do well in this class. The next hammer I want to talk about is called a framing hammer. This is a hammer that they use in, um, in construction. Notice the difference, okay? We got a compare and contrast here. So now we have a framing hammer. They want to call it, sometimes they call it a rip claw. So you can bring the wood to you, okay? For ripping stuff. It's got a straight head claw and then it has a waffle face. Same thing with this. I let you get it, rough it up, it's brand new. And then this over here takes, in construction we use 16 penny nails. And we use penny, the D is for penny. That's the measurement that they use for nails. So So if you can see, I made a wall here, and we use the nails here for the 16s for two by fours, two by fours. Okay, pay attention because we're gonna have a quiz. So you come through here, we have another nail called the eight penny nail. It's a little different, little little different size, okay? Little different size, little this one's shorter, this one's longer. The, the eight penny nail is used for putting on paneling, okay? This is a piece of OSB. Same thing, hold it over here, get it started. Notice how I hold it, hold it above my ear and begin to hit it. Notice how it's hitting it. Now, if I were to hit it sideways, what would happen to my arm? Maybe I have an idea. Yes, my arm will get tired and I'll probably get hurt. So hitting the nail correctly, the correct form is what you want to do. And that is the two hammers, the 16 ounce, a 23 ounce claw hammer. Anybody have any questions? You're gonna to go to your stations and you're going to go ahead and practice using the two hammers and driving in nails. So on the back side, I also give you a handout with the nails. So make sure you understand this because you have a test on Wednesday. So again, this is all for you. If you have any questions, no more questions, you may go to work. Thank you.